guys, welcome to Rebel Media. Today we're exploring the town of Washington, Arkansas. And I spent the night over there in the jail. It was definitely haunted and everything is very old and very historic, 19th century stuff. Uh, and today we're going to be starting here at the courthouse. Let's see what they got. This courthouse served the county from 1874 to the 1930s. The chandelier you see right here is actually a replica of the one that used to be there that ran on oil. One of the oldest, or if not the oldest church in Arkansas, Methodist church that is, and people still gather here to this day. I tried to get in, but unfortunately it was locked. This is the Royston Townhouse. It was built in 1845, and Mr. Royston and his family lived here. He was a lawyer and a planter, and he served in 1836 and 1874 in the Constitutional Conventions. He was also a member of the Confederate House of Representatives during the war. Made a new friend here. Here we're driving by the Purdom House, Dr. James Purden practiced medicine here in Washington from 1845 till 1866 when he died. This cool little homestead belonged to Simon T. Sanders and his wife. A small working farm, it still has the kitchen and the outbuildings on the outside of the house. They had a slave named Betsy Carey who would end up staying on as a paid servant after emancipation. This southern cattle putt tree is 250 years old and it's the oldest one in the state. This house was built by a man named Abraham Block in 1832 and it is one of the few federal style structures still remaining in southwest Arkansas. He was the first documented Jewish settler in Arkansas in the late 1820s and he started a prosperous business in the region. In 1959 this house was the first one to be restored. This is the old 1914 schoolhouse. It served as the second public school for Washington, and today it's available for rent, for group activities, and even overnights. Across the street is the blacksmith shop. I have a whole video just talking about that, and the link for that will be down below. This saddlebag cabin was built in 1835. It was originally on a plantation located northeast of Washington, but in 1986 they moved it here to restore and interpret what early housing and life was like in early southwest Arkansas.
yonder is the first courthouse in the town and also where the Confederate Capitol building was. I have a whole video on this and that will also be down in the links below. This was the first of two magnolia trees planted by General Royston in the Washington, Arkansas area. He was a local lawyer who went to make a career in Arkansas state politics, and he was a general in the Mexican-American War from 1845 to 1847, fighting with his more famous cousin, General Zachary Taylor, who became president in 1839. This tree was planted in 1839 and it has been unharmed for 181 years. It's also the biggest magnolia tree in the entire state. Last but not least is the Pioneer Cemetery. They have graves here from the Revolution and before. This is an amazing place to visit so I have a separate video coming up on this so stay tuned for that. Hey gang, hope you enjoyed the video. Just kind of a quick overall tour of the property. There's a bunch of buildings that I didn't even get to and get to visit, uh, but it's an amazing place. I have a whole playlist dedicated to some of the buildings there, so be sure to check out the rest. Um, I got some exciting stuff coming up soon. I got a trip planned coming up at the end of the month. Stay tuned for that. And as always, thank you so much for watching the video. I appreciate you guys so much. See you next time.